The one criticism I've heard from people who've watched it is that the quality of the animation and the story suffers because of the budget, which I don't agree with. I won't deny that money plays a part in animation, but to say that it's what hinders a series or even a film from being good, I don't think it's giving any credit to the people behind it all. I personally think budget is not always a prime factor when it comes to animation as much as it is the codependency of the talent and the abilities of the people working on it, and the time and energy they have to spend. There's actually a video by the Anituber Gigak where he went to an animation studio over there and a lot of the information on the process of animating a one season anime, at least for this particular studio, came to light. Giving people such as you and I, who watch these shows and may also be critical on various aspects of series, is more of an understanding what an animation studio such as this may very well have to deal with. The number of people that are working on an anime may be more or less in other studios. There may be a lot more time to focus on the anime, there may be less, or hell, maybe they might not have everything this studio has to work with. But regardless, there is no mistaking that these shows that many of us will just consume and throw away until later on do have people behind it trying to the best of their ability. Another YouTuber named Noodle also made a video breaking down the process of animation in his video, Smoother Animation is not equal to better animation. Talking more about artistic intent, even getting praise from James Baxter, which... If you've watched some of the more memorable animated films or even shows like Adventure Time or Steven Universe, you may have seen his work, and it's beautiful. And Trash Taste Podcast had an interview with an animator over in Japan on their show where he talked about his experiences. Hell, I've tried doing animation myself! A while back I made this rough animation tracing this shot from an anime. However, I do not own animation software. So I used Autodesk Sketchbook and created new frames individually and stuck it in video editing software compiling all the individual frames into one video file. However, I do not think it looks this way because I'm broke, or I should have had enough money to improve it, or even having an animation software with all the tools of an animation studio at my hand would have fixed it. I think it looks this way because while I've had years of practice in sketch art and now digital art, I did not have any experience in animation until that moment. That took me at most a couple of hours or so. And there's a team of artists and animators in these studios that have to animate series on a day-to-day -day basis. So believe me when I say while I do think budget is a factor, I do not think it's the sole or even the main reason why animation in a series such as Ruby Empire may not look like this every episode. Ah! Animation is so hard! People who do this for a living deserve more credit and respect!